for Hip Hop Weekly Magazine. This is the A3C Weekend official showcase. You know how we do. Uh, the Next to Blow Showcase highlights artists that we feel you should keep on your radar. These are the guys that are grinding in the street that you'll be hearing about in time to come. Now this guy right here has a crazy story. We kind of talked about it a little bit before the interview, but just to show you the impact of the hip hop culture, the reach of the hip hop culture. This guy's from Saudi Arabia making authentic hip hop music for the love, the passion of the streets, man. Tell us your story about how you fell in love with hip hop. Man, really it began when I was, let's say 18 years old. My boy, the director, you know what I'm saying? We used to rap with each other. We got uh, about seven mixtapes uh, as FDA and Be Loose. And, uh, you know, I just love playing with words. And it's just, you know, it was a therapy to kind of just get things off my chest and, and put them in music form, you know what I mean? So, you know, I, all my music reel is 1,000%. I keep it 1,000. And, and, you know, my motivation is just trying to reach out to people, motivate them to do better, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Make that money, you know? We hustlers. So, let me ask you a question right here. So, so, were you born in Saudi Arabia and grew up here, or how long you been in the U.S.? Uh, I was born in Saudi Arabia. When I was at the age of 10, we came here to Houston. So, I'm 28. We've been living here for 18 years in Houston. But you've seen both cultures and both kind of um, how they relate to hip hop. Now, for those that don't know that haven't been on that side of the world, how do they feel about the hip hop culture over there? I mean, in Saudi Arabia, it's more like they don't really, they frown upon hip hop, but I'm Lebanese, that's my ethnicity. But in Lebanon, they love hip hop, you know what I mean? They love, you know, uh, the like EDM type stuff. Uh, you know, they be jamming Drake and, you know, the hip hop, it's Europeanized now, you know what I mean? So, um, but basically, I mean, that's how it is over there. It's just all the uh, mainstream superstar artists. Are all, you know, but they so the impact is felt on that side of the world as well. So, so let me ask you this. I mean, with the story that you have and the background you have, what do you bring to the table that maybe the, the typical um, hip hop artists may not be bringing with their music? You know what, man? My name is FTA Music. I'm the best air rapper alive. Woo! Interview over there, go, baby. He, he, you know what? That's the confidence right there, though. That's a, that, so, so, so you gotta back that up though, because our fans they know their hip hop. So, what makes you confident enough to make a statement like that? Because I mean, a lot of people around me have told me, you know, I listen to Arab rappers and stuff, but your music's good. You make good music, and you know, the fans and the people are what give me the confidence, to, you know, to feel that way. You know what I'm saying? And and that's just how I feel. You know, I so say we about it. You know what I mean? So. Now, now, when I look at you, I have to be honest. They're not gonna know what to expect, and that's a good thing. You know, because it keeps them guessing. But I want to give our hip hop audience, our hip hop family, an idea of the kind of music you're making. Is it a trap type sound? Is it something we've never heard before? Is it more like a conscious type rap? What should we, uh, what are we in store for with FDA music? I mean, I do my trap, you know what I'm saying? I do my, I do basically all what you just said, you know what I mean? Something, it's, a, it's all different. I always switch my styles. I don't stay with one style. Um, I like to make dance, you know, kind of like, I guess like, yeah, I do so, so, some of those auto-tune type stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, people can dance to, you know, they shit like that, you know? I do got my trap songs, and I actually got a song called Trap House. Uh, that shit hit 600,000 views on YouTube. 600,000. Uh, congratulations, man. That's incredible. Yeah, I released it two years ago from my first solo album, Made It. And, uh, uh, what's it called? But, but in addition to that, I mean... You're doing this stuff, you're putting music out there, and I think that the diversity of the kind of music you make speaks to your background. You're so international that you're bringing a trap sound, a conscious music sound, um, uh, you know, a party type vibe. That diversity is kind of like, it's symbolic of America, the melting pot we live in. Uh, I, but before the interview, you and I were talking about 2016, you, you know how you have to do in this industry, plan ahead. I know you're cooking up something for early January, right? 
Yeah, I'm uh, cooking up Take the Throne. I'm going to have artists like uh, Kirko Bangs on there. Uh, Dope Beasy from the A. Shout out my boy Dope. For real, shout out Ace Town, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got uh, Scotty Boy from Maybach Music. Um, I have, that's about it. I got one more person. I just can't remember his name. But, uh, Make him wait. Stunner Bam. Bam is our guy. Stunner Bam is our guy. Shout to Stunner Bam, by the way, man. He, he, he did his thing on a June James new mixtape, um, Genius 4, I think it's called. That's my, that's my joint right there, so shout out to him. Shout out to you too, man. You're working with a lot of people that we know, friends of the magazine. Um, before I let you go, you got to hit us with your Twitter, your Snapchat, your Instagram. We want to stay plugged in with all you're doing. Right. Everything's at FDA Music. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, FDA Music, SoundCloud, whatever. Absolutely. FDA Music, J Bachelor, Hip Hop Weekly Magazine, Official, A3C, 2015 Next to Blow Showcase. Let's go watch this man perform. <laughs> 